Hey guys, good afternoon. Welcome back to Warham Club Aston. Well, uh, I said I was going to try and make nine bases of heavy weapons teams out of one box. And it's almost possible without any parts. The only bits you need, if you want to do it, is uh, the extra man on the base. I've still got two to do. Um, a bit of rubble and extra pieces from wherever you get them from. I'm quite lucky because I've got the um, these terrain piece box set over from uh, Games Workshop. So I've stuck a lot of bits on there to make them look like they're behind, behind the lines where they should be with heavy weapons. So we'll start off with um, these ones. These are the normal heavy weapons teams for the heavy bolter or the last cannon or the auto cannon. What I've done is, I don't know if you can see it, uh, let me get a knife. Here at the back, you should glue on the A-frame from the mortars or the missile launchers. But I didn't do that. I glued it onto a piece of rubble, just a piece of plastic. And then I glued the kneeling crew down and one standing crew. And then all you do with the heavy weapons is these ones they just slide somehow like that onto the base so these are the last cannon oh, i decided i don't want the last cannon this time i want to use the heavy bolters i did make it very tight for my big fat ugly fingers there we go heavy bolter um and all these pieces come with the kit so there's no need to make one or the other you can make them all so that's them three Again, I've used three standing crew members from uh, the men from the Cadia Stands squad. A box set, sorry. Um, yeah, it costs you... I've used three on this squad, and I'm going to use three on the mortars. But I'm going to have the heavy weapons teams on the... 50, uh, sorry, the missile launchers on the 50 mil bases, but only one man. I'll obviously take two men out of the uh, guardsman squad if I ever used him. Um, but it's more that I'm going to use them as heavy weapons teams. So next, the mortars. Okay. Uh, again, the kneeling guys from the heavy weapons team are here. The issue you've got actually is finding arms for the right hand. Uh, sorry, the left arm. There is plenty of uh, these arms. I'm oh, just seeing how badly that's glued on. Oh dear. I need to. Uh, take the arm off this guy and uh, glue it back on it's missing half of his shoulder so um, you're missing a lot of left arms um, for things and I'll show you that later when I get to the missile launchers so these are the mortars again one standing guy with two reserve arms one of these is from the older guardsman sets again there's another guy here He's waiting for his second crew member. I will put a second crew member on these. And again, behind some barricades. This guy's loading his uh, mortar into the mortar itself. And then... Then you come with a problem. Because in the heavy weapons team, in the instructions, to make the missile launchers, you need 16. You need part number 16. Okay. Now you've used that for the mortars. So when you come round to building your missile um, launch, missile launchers. Let's go back a page. I'm a bit disorganised, sorry. Here, you use piece 16 as well. So you've already used that to build the mortar team. So you don't have it to build the other half of the missile launcher. One second, I'll get the piece. Here, this is the other piece. Okay, and normally his hand's on the bottom with a with a bracket and the trigger. But what I did was I had some plastic card, some tube, four millimeter tube, and then I oops I cut the hand off with the bracket, um cut the length of tube out to the length of the missile launcher, and then glued the front and the rear on and the targeting system. Um, what I tried to do with this one, you can see it's been badly cut there, 
is I tried to get the, the left arm to come across and meet where the hand was on the um, trigger mechanism there. But because these guys are standing forwards and not sideways, like uh, the kneeling guys are here, you couldn't, it didn't quite match up. You were missing about this much where the wrist would meet the hand. So again, I had to go and look for another left arm. This is the uh, chainsaw arm from the command squad. I've just cut the chainsaw roughly off. I'll clean that up a little bit with a file when I'm ready. Um, and that's them. Again, I'm going to put a load of rubble on the base so it looks full. Um, but I'm not going to put a second crew member on here. This guy here is the sergeant of the squad and he's got his last pistol out because obviously somebody's getting a bit close. Um, and again, the, the missile launcher. But what you can do is, like, this guy's running with a missile launcher. I don't know if that's correct, whether you could actually physically run with one of these. But this is one of the running models. And again, a load of scenery. There'll be sand on the base and everything when it's done. Um, so I did get nine models out of the new heavy weapons squad. All on 50 mil bases, thanks to uh, AliExpress. I ordered 20 for, I don't know, what were they? Four euros. Because they're not in stock at Games Workshop. So, uh, yeah, I ordered them from Ali. I also bought uh, Creed. Uh, she's had a helmet swap and then uh, ready to paint to match my army. And obviously the mini of the month is a Guardsman. So we grabbed him as well. I've got two Guardsmen here. They're going to be uh, put on the mortar bases. I think I may just give them last guns um as a crew as a second crew member they do officially i believe have las guns in the when you when you take them in the codex i don't know the codex in here i don't know i think they have las guns as well so i'm going to give them las guns because i'm sick of looking for left and right arms and things like that and um yeah there you go easy peasy you need a piece of four millimeter rod and they get a little bit creative with the models. And uh, you can actually make nine heavy weapons teams out of one Games Workshop heavy weapons team squad. Thanks for watching. I'll, uh, I'll be back in a little while because I've uh, done some painting on my uh, Rogal Dawn. So I'll do a video for that as well. And uh, yeah, see you later. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, please. Bye bye.